We're here today to look at the um, National Women's Health Strategy that was published last year in August 22 and actually our response to Sussex in relation to what we've done since it's been published. But what we really want to hear today is that we want to listen to the voices of women and girls that we've, we've harnessed through the last year through focus groups and research that's been done and some of their centres are people with lived experience of women in their homelessness as well. So it's been really important to bring the voice of the women into this day today, which actually is a core aspect of the women's strategy as well, and a real transformational part of it. I'm absolutely delighted to be here today, to be able to talk about all things women's health. It's really important for us um, at Health Innovation Kent Surrey in Sussex. Um, it's part of our women's health strategy. and We're here to really see some systemic change um, in terms of research and innovation and be able to contribute towards the Sussex integrated care system on their women's health journey. The outcome that I'm expecting from today is that we're going to turn up the volume on this issue and that we're going to see a lot of decision makers in the room that are in a position to use their influence and privilege to be able to really do something in terms of reversing the inequalities that many women are facing and particularly interested in women from an intersectional point of view, cultural diversity, gender diversity, um, their sexual I I um, identity. I'm really looking to see a shift in that area because whatever we tolerate will never change. Now what we need to do of course is actually take the data understand what the issues are and most importantly of all is to engage our local communities and that's exactly what we started to do today in terms of our commitment to develop a network of women's health hubs and so it was really important today to spend some time thinking about research thinking about national policy but also what do local women want from these particular services and this is the start of a conversation that will need to continue because it's really important that we take women's health really seriously. And so today was a great start for that journey.